In today's video, we're going to be playing one of my favorite games. This one is called Crows and Cranes, and the reason I really like this game is because it requires teamwork, but it also involves personal challenge. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get a personal challenge, but you also get to work with your teammates to try to beat the other team. Hi guys, welcome back to the Science Factory. I'm Mr. Brian. For those of you who haven't been to our channel before, we do science experiments, awesome art projects, and fun games for you to try at home. Now in this game, you're going to divide players into two teams, crows and cranes. And players are gonna line up on the line with their feet staggering one another. So we'll have the players on this side, right next to the line, and we'll have players on this side in between them. You're also going to need a referee on the sidelines to help judge. Each round, the referee is going to say either crows or cranes. If the referee says cranes, then that means that it's the cranes' turn to try to tag the crows. The crows are going to try to run as fast as they can from the center line to their safe zone without being tagged. If they get tagged, they're going to switch to the other team. You can also play that once somebody gets tagged, they're out of the game but I really like when you just have to switch teams because everyone gets to keep playing. Now, if the referee was to say crows, then it's the crows turn to chase the cranes to their safe zone. The referee is going to keep going back and forth in no particular order. They might say cranes three times in a row and that's okay. It's important to be somewhat random. If you just alternate every time, crows, cranes, crows, cranes, it gets boring really quickly because most of the fun of this game is the element of surprise. Crows and cranes sound really similar, so you never know what the referee's gonna call. And in fact, it's really fun for the referee to play games with everybody and say, Cranes, crows, cranes. So this can be a really fun game for the referee as well because they can try to trick other players. Can you think of any other words that you could use for this game? We've tried Triceratops and T-Rex, but it didn't have quite the same ring as crows and cranes. Let us know your ideas in the comments down below. Now, of course, in any game involving tag, it's really helpful to set out your expectations ahead of time. So have the players talk to each other and decide on what's going to constitute a tag. If somebody just gets your shirt, is that going to count? Are we going to count it based on what the tagger said or based on whether you felt it? These are helpful things to clear up before you start playing any game involving tag so that everybody feels like the game went fairly. Remember, the whole point of the game is to have fun. So even if you disagree with one of the calls that somebody makes, try to just go along with it and remember there's gonna be more rounds in the future for you to have a good time with. Now in this game, it's very common to make a mistake and be a crane and have the referee call crows and then try to tag the crows anyways, even though you're supposed to be running away. Again, just remember that this is part of the fun of the game. Don't take it too hard and just jump back in the game and keep having a good time. Now, it's also the referee's job to keep a close eye on everyone each round to make sure that there's an impartial judge if there's a close call with tagging and an outside party is needed. But remember, the referee can't catch everything, so honesty is the best policy. For the center line, you can use cones, chalk, or whatever else you want. I recommend that you play this game on grass because it's softer if you fall down. I don't like playing tag games on asphalt because it's a little bit easier for people to get hurt. Anytime that you're playing games at home, remember that we're just trying to share some rules and a basic framework with you, and it's up to you to make sure that you and everybody playing stays safe and has a good time. And to also change the rules if you need in order to better fit your players. Now, this game can get pretty exciting, and one thing that we've found from playing this a lot of times is that sometimes the players get so excited about the game that they all start chatting and laughing over here at the edge, and it's hard to get the next round going. So it can be helpful for the referee to have a whistle or some sort of way to call everyone back to the center. And it's really helpful if all of the players work together to make that happen. This game just isn't as fun if it takes a couple of minutes between every round. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Mr. Brian with the Science Factory and we'll see you next time. A crow asked me to donate to his charity the other day and I asked him what it was called and he said, Caw! 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 So I said, well, at least it's for good cause. What do you call a group of crows that are all friends? Cronies.